Hi, I'm Nate Bronner with the Virginia Cooperative Extension, the Master Gardener Program, and the Colonial Beekeepers Association. I'd like to welcome you back to my garden. It's a beautiful day at the start of summer, and I just finished extracting the honey from my hives, taking the honey out of frames like this, extracting it, and then I'm left with the frames afterwards. So I let the frames out here for the bees to come and clean up the residual honey off of the frames. Most of the bees that are out here on these frames are honey bees, but there are a couple of other pollinators that are out here looking for a free lunch as well. That's fine with me. Right next to this, I have my pollinator garden where I have tithonia, sunflowers, spider flowers, catnip, agastasia, forage, verbena, and lots of other plants out here for the pollinators to enjoy. Sometimes when I talk to people about putting pollinator gardens in their yard, they say, you know, I'd really like all the flowers, but I'm really worried about getting stung by bees. And I understand that. Many people have a fear of being stung by flying, stinging insects. But I can tell you this, right now I'm standing in the middle of quite a bit of activity of honeybees. I'm wearing shorts, sandals, and a polo shirt. And not one of these girls out here is interested in me. They're all far more interested in the honey and the pollen that they can gather in this area. And as long as I stay calm around them, they're not gonna bother with me. All they wanna do is do their job and take the resources back to their hive. So if I stay calm, they stay calm around me too. Just something to think about when you're thinking about putting a pollinator garden in your backyard. You'll get to enjoy all the flowers. You'll get to enjoy supporting the wildlife around you. And you'll get to see some really wonderful things in nature. Thanks for coming back and joining me in my garden.